Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send automated Google chat notification from Google Sheets in real time. Here, my objective is that whenever I will add a new row or a new data in my Google Sheets, automatically that same data should be sent in the form of a new message on my Google chat space. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now here we have Google Sheets in our trigger and then we have Google Chats in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically send messages on our Google chat space from Google Sheets. So I have created this automation and now whenever I'm going to add a new message, add a new row in this particular sheet, automatically the message will be sent on my Google chat space. Okay. Okay. So let me show you by entering the message over here. I'm going to add a new content in this spreadsheet. Let's say. Okay, so I have entered a message, a random message over here. Hello, you all need to submit your work reports by the end of day. And as soon as I have entered the message over here, we will check on our Google chat space that automatically the same message is here on this space with the name as Google Sheets. So this is very easy process. We just need to set up a simple integration between Google Sheets. Okay, so this is very easy process. We just need to set up a simple integration between our Google Sheets and Google chat and our work will be done. So then whenever we are going to add a new content for message here in this particular spreadsheet, automatically the message will be sent on our Google chat space. Okay, so let's start creating this automation step by step. In order to integrate these application, I am going to use an integration and automation software Pabli Connect. With the help of Pabli Connect, we can easily integrate multiple applications to automate our task without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by tapping pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create multiple folders here to save our workflows. Okay. Now to create a new workflow, we are going to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send automated Google chat message from Google Sheets. Okay. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. Okay. Now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we will select in our trigger will command the entire workflow and the actions will follow that command. Okay. Let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and Google Chat in our action. And we want that as soon as we are going to add a new data or a new message in our Google Sheets, the same message should be sent on our Google chat space. Okay. Now, after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Google Sheets. So let's select Google Sheets over here. And now we are going to select our trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So let us select new or updated spreadsheet row as our trigger event. As we want that whenever a new row will be added in our Google Sheets, the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow is going to trigger. Now, as we do that, here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to follow these instructions step by step in order to connect our Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. And for that, the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect. Okay, so let me copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So in order to show you, first of all, let me create a new spreadsheet. Okay, so this is a new spreadsheet and I'm going to name it as new finance team task. So let us suppose I'm preparing this spreadsheet for adding different tasks or different titles, which I want to assign to my team members of finance team. Okay. And here I want that as soon as I'm going to add a new title or a new task in this particular spreadsheet, that should be sent automatically on my Google chat space in the form of message to my finance team. Okay. In this way, I will be able to create a record of all the tasks, which I'm going to assign to my team. And also I can send the same task in the form of message to my team members. And all this process will be done automatically. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to enter the details over here in this particular spreadsheet. So this will be my column for task. Okay. So this will be the column and here I'm going to enter a message. First of all, let's say the message will be 
Hello team, this is to inform you that we need to prepare financial strategies for upcoming month. Okay, so I have entered the content which I want to send on my Google chat here in the spreadsheet. Now we need to connect the same spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. For that, we will have to go towards extensions and then we have to click on this add-ons. When you will click on get add-ons, it will take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. So here we need to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's do that. Pabli Connect webhook is the add-on which we need to install in our Google Sheets. As you all can find that I have already installed it. So I'm just going to cross it so that you could find it here under extensions option. Now, as we can find Pabli Connect webhooks over here. So let's go towards initial setup. Basically, in order to connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we need to enter two details, webhook URL and trigger column. So first of all, let us paste the webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and the next is trigger column. Now, what is trigger column? The concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered in the spreadsheet up till this column, the response will be sent automatically towards Pabli Connect and the workflow is going to start. Okay. Now, as you can find in the spreadsheet, I have only one column. So that will be my trigger column. Okay. I want that as soon as I will enter the data in this particular column, the response should be sent automatically in Pabli Connect. Okay. But in case if I would have multiple columns in the spreadsheet, then the trigger column will be the final data column in which I'm going to add the data. So let's suppose if you have three columns in your spreadsheet, column A, column B and column C, then most probably column C will be your trigger column as you want that whenever you will add the data up till column C, the response should be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay. So here my trigger column is column A. So I'm going to enter A over here and now I'm going to click on the send test button to send the test data towards Pabli Connect. As we have done that, we can find that the test data is sent successfully. So let's submit the initial setup and here our configuration is set up. So we'll cross this and we'll go back towards Pabli Connect. And here we can find that as soon as we have done the initial setup and we have submitted it, the response is captured over here. Okay, here are all the details, trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, as well as the message. Okay, now we are going to use the same details in order to move further in the workflow. But before that, we have to do one more thing. We will go back towards Google Sheets. We will go back towards extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks. And this time we need to click on this send on event button. As we have done that, we have made sure that whenever now we are going to add a new row in this particular spreadsheet, whenever we are going to add a new data here, automatically that response will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect and the workflow will continue and the automation will run smoothly okay so we will move further now and here our objective is to send the message which we have received from google sheets response on our google chat space okay for that now we are going to connect google chat with pabli connect so let us go towards our action step and in our action application here i'm going to search for google chats this is google chat hangout let's select it and now we need to select the action event. So we want to send the message in our space. So we are going to select create message over here. Let's click on connect. And now it is asking us for two details. First of all, the chat webhook URL and then the message. Okay. Now with the help of chat webhook URL, we are going to connect the space of Google chat in which we want to send the message. And for finding the webhook URL, first of all, we need to click on this hyperlink. And it is going to take us towards the Pabli forum page. Here we can find that the avatar URL is given to us. So we will just copy it. And then we have to go towards our Google chat space. Okay. We need to click on the name of our Google chat space. And here we can find the option of apps and integrations. Let's select it. And it is going to take us towards the webhook page. Now with the help of the webhook, we are going to connect Google chat with Pabli Connect. Here we can find multiple webhooks are already present. So we need to click on this add webhook button in order to create a new webhook. Okay. Let's do that. First of all, we need to provide a name to our webhook. Whatever name we are going to provide to our webhook, the message is going to send with that name only every time. Okay. So here I'm going to give the name as new task for the team. Okay. So this will be the name of my webhook. And now here we need to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli forum page. Done. And we'll click on save. As we have done that, we can find that a new webhook is added over here. New task for the team. This is the name. And this is a URL which we need to copy and paste in Pabli Connect. So let's click on the three dots and we will copy the link and we will go back towards Pabli Connect and paste it over here in the chat webhook URL field. Okay. In the same manner, you have to find your webhook URL. You need to click on this hyperlink. It is going to take you towards Pabli forum page. From there, you have to copy the avatar URL and then you have to create a new webhook in your Google chat space. Once you will give a name to your webhook URL and paste the avatar URL in that, a new webhook will be added there in your chat space. And then you have to copy the URL and then you need to copy that same URL and paste it over here. Done. The next is the message. Okay. What message you want to send on your Google chat space? Here our, here our objective is to send the message which we have received from Google chat response. So we will simply map the data over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. So whatever data we want, we will simply select that and it will be mapped automatically. 
here our purpose is to map the message content let's select it and it will be mapped okay now as we have mapped this message it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response so now whenever a new row will be added in our google sheets and the response will be captured here in public connect automatically the message is going to replace with a new message of that new response but in case if we will enter it manually by copy and pasting then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response therefore in order to automate the entire process we use mapping okay after mapping the message, let's click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that we have received the response. So let's go and check on our Google chat space, whether the message is received on our space or not. And yes, here we can find that a new message is received over here recently. Hello team, this is to inform you that we need to prepare financial strategies for upcoming month. And the name of the webbook is new task for the team. Okay, so we have received this message from new task from the team. So this means that we have successfully built an integration between Google Sheets and Google Chat. And now whenever we are going to add a new task or a message, in our Google Sheets, automatically the same message will be sent here in pack. Automatically the same message will be sent here on our Google Chat space. Okay, so our workflow is successful. We will check this workflow once again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back towards my Google Sheet and I'm going to add a new content of message over here. Okay, so let's say the message will be Hello team, please meet me one-on-one -on -one for discussing strategies. So I have entered a message over here and now as soon as I have added a message over here in the form of a new row, we will go and check on our space and here we can find that as soon as we have done and we can find that without any manual efforts within seconds, the message is received here on our Google chat space. So this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken Google chat hand out and we have connected both of them by using public connect in such a way that now whenever a new row will be added in our google sheets that means whenever we are going to add a new message content in our google sheets automatically the same message will be sent on our google chat space without any manual effort. in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation and this will enable you to automatically send messages on your google chat space by using google sheets and in this way you can very easily create a record of all the details related to task assignments or etc in your google sheets as well as you can send them in the form of message to your team members in google chat space this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support at the red if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations